Hey everybody, what's up? It's Snake here, and in today's video we're going to be bringing you guys an Adobe After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to be showing you how you can render any graphic in After Effects with having a transparent background. So, what I mean is, I have a little composition right here, and we're going to show you how to render a lower third in with absolutely no background so it's transparent so here is our original comp that we're going to be doing our things on as you can see we have just a transparent background here and the only thing that we want to actually render out is this little lower third that I have playing and we want to render that out so that it will be its own separate movie file so this file right here so if we open up the file as you can see it looks just like a black background with our little lower third animated there but what we want to do is we want to render out the composition with a transparent background so that we can overlay it over anything so that it will just be transparent so I have a little background right here and if we preview this as you can see my little lower third comes out and is shown so we want to essentially just render out the lower third animation with a transparent background so that you can drag and drop it into things like Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro so that you won't need to worry about using After Effects projects throughout your entire project that you're working on. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with a new composition. So go to composition, new comp. I'm going to just call this comp 3 1920 by 1080 that's perfectly fine for me and I'm going to make it last around 5 seconds. We're going to click OK and as you can see we get a normal composition that is black right here. Now we wanted to have a transparent background like in this composition. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this little button right down here which is the toggle transparency grid button. You click on that and you will have your little transparency grid right here and now we have the freedom to create anything that we want to because anything that we want to create in here will be transparent when we render it out however there are specific render settings to do when rendering it out so i'm just going to show you the process of how i created this lower third here as a little bit of an example so to create that one i went up to layer new solid and i created a black solid and I made it just the comp size so I can just feel free to scale it down. So I'll scale it down to around there, that's fine. And I'm going to position it to be right here, maybe a little bit smaller. Now I made this just as simply as I could. So I lowered the opacity of it by going down here, transform, and then lowering down the opacity until it looked around eh, something like that, maybe a little bit lower. So we're going to keep it at around 51% opacity. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some text to go along with it. So I'm going to go to layer, new text, and then I'm just going to choose my fonts and stuff over here. So I'm going to keep it the way that I have it set right here to the font Babass at regular. And I don't know if I said that right, but we're just going to type out my name right there. We're going to keep it white for now. And I'm just going to Put it right around in the center to where I think is good. And so what I want to do is I want to animate this background so that it has the motion to it and we're also going to make it have the text go along with it. So we're just going to parent the text with the background for now so that the text will be linked with the background. So now we're just going to animate the background very very simply. So I'm just going to start it out there at a new position keyframe and move forward to around here. Or, oops. I'm sorry, I started that out wrong. We want to start the text off screen right here, then add a new position keyframe, and then go over here and just move it. So I'm gonna move it to around right there. So that if we play this back as you, through RAM preview, as you can see, it just animates in through the side. And then over here, we're gonna do basically the same thing. We're gonna add in another keyframe, and then we're just going to move it out of frame so that if we preview that, it will come in through the side and then it will just go back out essentially. And so what we want to do is that's perfectly fine. I don't know why I said we want to do right there. But anyway, the last thing that we want to do is we want to add in a little bit of motion blur to it to make it look a little bit better. So we're going to enable motion blur for the composition and then enable motion blur for both layers. And then I'm going to RAM preview this once again. So here we go. As you can see, it comes in with a little bit of motion blur and then it goes out with a little bit of motion blur. And so that's basically it. So now we want to render this out so that we can import it on top of any other composition that we want to in any other video editing software and then use it just transparency right here. So to do that, we're going to render it out. So go to composition and add to render key. But first, let me 
Let me clear my render queue right here so we don't have anything in it. So the Delete. All right, so now we don't have anything in the render queue. So now I'm gonna add composition three to the render queue, as you can see right down here. And the only thing we wanna change here is we wanna to go to output module. And as you can see here where it says video outputs under channels, you wanna choose RGB and you wanna change that to RGB plus alpha. Click OK and then choose any of the settings that you want to right here. You can choose to change them the way you want to. Then just click render and it should render out. And there we go. Now we have Comp 3 completely rendered out. And if we go to the desktop and we view Comp 3, as you can see, it is essentially the same exact thing that we had before in our last composition. But if I just... Uh, let me import comp3 into our project right here. And I'm gonna go back here to the comp with my background and I'm just going to delete that little lower third that we had in there before and then drag in the one that we just rendered out. As you can see, if we preview it, it comes in and it's completely transparent. And that isn't the After Effects project that we imported. It is simply just the MOV. Now, I believe we need to return on Motion Blur if we're using After Effects. However, you shouldn't have to do that if you're using a different application. I don't know why it looked a little bit different right there. But essentially, that's how to do it. That is how to render out any kind of motion graphic that you have with a transparent background. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.